Now, a lot of times when I'm producing music, I want to make sure my pads have a certain color. To get there, we're going to go to Menu. We're going to press Pad Color. And we see here the first option we have is Our Program. So we're going to make sure you have the right program selected. Because that's the program we're going to put the colors on, right? I'm hitting sounds here. They're all red. I want my drums, my bass drums to be one color, my snare drums to be a color, and the hi-hats and cymbals to be a certain color. It's important. That way, when I see the tracks move, and I see the velocities under the pads, I know what that sound is. Now, here we have classic. This is how it normally comes, all right? I got a program selected. This is classic. And so in classic, obviously, as you can see, let's play a track here. And you see some sounds are lower velocities. So it's a classic look where if it's a low velocity, not much velocity, it's going to be almost a yellow amber color. And when you hit it real hard, it's going to be a red color. And you can see it here in the track. But what I want to do is make sure that the colors have the velocity. So here, there are ways to do this, several ways. So here, we're going to go ahead to fix. And this is fixed. So single fixed pad. This is empty pads are dim. So it's a fixed, empty pads are dim. So here, if I go to all pads, I can have all pads one color. I may have a program that's all snare drums. It may be in Banksy. I may be using a couple of snare drums here and there, whatever. So I may make one program all uh, one color. And in this case, I would just tap here. Ooh, turn that color. Let's go purple. So you can see, we just tap here and we can change the color of the pads. Right in this chart. You can do the same thing, just uh, go to here, tap here. You know, it changes. And we're gonna go ahead to single right now. And now none of these pads have colors. We're in single. So I can make a color for each single pad. And this is important. So I got a bass drum here. I want this bass drum to be a certain color, so I'm going to make this color. The bass drum is going to be like uh, blue. I'm going to get dark blue there for the bass drum. That's a little bass drum. I want that one to be blue. So I hit blue. I, I pick out the ones that are going to be blue. This, I know these are high hats, so I want hats to be yellow. So those are yellow. And you can see them right here on our touchscreen display also. Snare drum I want to be green, so i got to hit the green. My snare drum's green. See? And then if I want to find other instruments, I would just go through them. My clap's going to be somewhat like my snare. I'll leave the clap down. I'll make it a lime, though. It's a similar sound. So this is a lime green. This is a green. See that? And I've got these, like, more like bongos. So let me go here. I'll make these a different color, too. I might make these this sort of lavender color. So I've got these eight sounds with different colors. Let me play the track now. You don't see nothing, right? Nothing at all. Stop. So, we've got it fixed. That means it's a fixed color. It's fixed. It's not moving. It's just tightly fixed right there. So, I'm going to go here. I'm going to double click this. And now I want to get velocity set up here. I want to see the bright velocity. Let's go to here. Right? My bright velocity. And now I want to play. You see the velocities. Now you can see the velocities in the pads that have colors on them. See? That's a bright velocity. I can go back to here. I go for a dim velocity. And now you see the pads got dimmer. Now if I play here, you can see the pads, their velocities are going from low to bright as a hit. Look at the clap. And so if I do this to the rest of the other pads and I give them all colors, we'll see the same effect. This is important so when I'm actually producing or you're producing, you can tap those pads and get the right colors. So, you got the lesson now. You tap the color to the pad. You can do the, use the same thing also here, like for example. Percussion sounds, right? So I want to make a different color for that. I want to go with, uh, let's see. I'll go with this color right here. I'll get that color. I'm doing it here, directly in the touch screen. I'm not hitting the pad, I'm hitting the touch, touch screen, and the same thing's happening. And I'll play it again, and you see it. And that's how 
pad colors work. 